Hey folks, Trouble Key Cat here, recording for the Zombie Arcade. Today we're looking at a another part of Meet the M16. This is number three. I'm using a setup I call the Suppressed DMR. Now this is a really wacky setup. I don't recommend using this ever for any reason for real disease if you're for serious business. Rifle scope six times, bipod and suppressor is the loadout on this. And there's a little bit to say about this setup. Um, I played a game where I went 25... Uh, sorry, 23 for 5 with this right before this match, which sadly I was not recording. Uh, this one this one I still did okay in, though, so I, I'm using this game. Uh, not, not a bad game at all, uh, especially considering the, the strangeness of the loadout. Now, um, yeah, this is kind of a weird setup, and uh, it's it's a little bit silly. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend actually going for it. It's kind of... I'm kind of just being a silly guy. Um... No, but, uh, the reasoning behind this is it basically turns the M16 into sort of a, a long-range, uh, support or spec ops weapon, good for, like, flanking and stuff like that, except not, not really that good for it, because it's just kind of dumb. Um, the reasoning be behind all the attachments is, okay, so that, that, that pretty much explains the 6 times scope and the bipod. The idea with those is to turn the weapon into sort of a longer range thing, so you can get good, uh, full auto fire at long range when you're deployed. Um, and that, that might sort of make sense. In practice, it doesn't work very well. And the reason for the suppressor is it, it increases the bullet drop and travel time, which is not so good at long range, but it does reduce the recoil a little bit. Uh, so, again, it's, uh, it makes sense in kind of a roundabout way, but it's not really a good idea. I'm going to be doing these sort of weird setups for these guns uh, for a few of the weapons, probably, because they're fun. That, that, was, that was the main reason, you know. Um, and... I, I played a lot of really bad games using this setup. It normally doesn't take me long to get a good game with a given attachment loaded. It'll be one of the first few games I'll play. I'll get like a 2KD and I'll be happy with it and I'll use that game. Um, this one, I, I got these two good games in a row, but I mean, I was playing all day. I had stopped recording because I wasn't getting any good games. And uh, and then, then I had that really awesome game. I was like, fuck! Maybe next time! So I got this. I got this pretty okay one. Anyway, so yeah, basically, uh, I'll be using these these weird attachment setups for all the, for not all the weapons. For some of the weapons, uh, occasionally you'll see me using these weird setups, and I'm just gonna keep going until I actually get a good game. I'm not gonna just be like, yeah, I used this attachment setup and it wasn't very good, so here's some shitty gameplay of me failing with it. Nah, fuck that, man. I'm just engage the awesome, regardless of whether or not my attachment setup actually makes any sense whatsoever. Uh, which is which is what's what's gonna go on, and and it's actually it's actually a lot of fun in some ways to play with the setup that kind of handicaps you. I don't mind doing it at all, and it might be might be enjoying for you, enjoyable for you guys to see uh, some weird stuff and how it can uh how it can kind of work out for you. Uh, I'm, I make a couple guys in this game really mad, uh, which is pr it's probably the biggest. He says I'm lucky the guy I just killed. It's probably the biggest advantage to this setup is when you uh, when you kill them and they see what attachments you're running. They gotta be thinking, like, what the fuck? They, they gotta be mad, man. <laughs> I'm running around with the suppressed 1911 as well. I was playing a lot of games with this, you know, um, stealthing through the shrubbery, trying to get get around behind people, flank dudes and stuff like that to, uh, to get goodness. Of course, the scope glint gives you away anyway, so it makes stealth a little bit tricky. Uh, that's why I spent a lot of time running around with the 1911 out, or I was in those games. Um, so basically, if you're gonna use this setup, you gotta you gotta try and rely on being behind or flanking your enemy or something because you're not gonna beat them in a straight up gunfight unless they really fail badly. I mean, you'll see I do dig out a few guys in a straight up gunfight here, and, and the enemy team isn't that terrible. I mean, they have most of the points for most of the match. We end up losing my team, uh, and yet I, I don't know. I guess uh, I guess some of these guys on the other team just their straight up gun skill was not that impressive, so I was I was able to achieve victory. Where, uh, where I probably should have just gotten dumped on. This is a really long game. It's about 18 minutes long. I keep the video right down, though. So, uh, so hopefully this one doesn't run too long for you guys. Um, next video is going to be the AK-74M, Naked. I was going to do a close quarters setup for the M16 and show you what that would be like, but pretty much you take my all-purpose rifle setup and swap out the sights and maybe use a tack light or a suppressor instead of the laser sight if you want to. Um... It, it's pretty, with these assault rifles, the sort of all-purpose general setup and the lo longer range setup is pretty much the same thing as the close quarters setup but with different optics. And it just sort of depends on, I mean, you wouldn't use a tack light on on a long range setup. I wouldn't use a tack light at all, though, so it's, that's something you could do. Fucking tack lights, man.
Um, <laughs> you probably spend more time pointing your own team than Oh, look at this. I'm up. I'm up. Get a stab. I'm gonna stab. Oh, oh, oh. Face chunk. Um, so, but what I will do is, on the AK-74M, instead of showing that sort of general medium range setup, I'm gonna do, uh, the naked and the close range setup, and I don't know, that might be it for the AK-74M, like, I could do another kind of weird setup like this one, but, uh, th this is pretty much one of the, one of the odder setups you can go for with the assault rifles, uh, one of the least, less practical ones, I mean, you could do something really... Really, you could do something just stupid like a six time scope and a four grip and attack light and just derp everywhere. But um This is this is one of the stranger setups that actually kinda makes sense that you can do with the assault rifle. So AK seventy four M's probably only be a couple videos. And then next up was the M416 after that I guess. Uh I'm I'm gonna be keeping these going for you know, for a while because I don't know, I like doing them, people seem to enjoy them. And, uh, and that's pretty cool. It's, it's just, it's nice to get an opportunity to mess around with every single gun in the game, play with them. You know, give him, give him a little bit of a fondle. That, that guy's mad, he's like, what the fuck happened there? And you see me chatting with this funky falafel guy, he's a little mad. You see, I used a little bit of a different recording setup here, I hope the visual quality is improved as a, revo as a result, it might be about the same. He says, what the fuck happened, man? So I tell him, right around the front of car, shot you in face. It's what, it's what happened, guys. It's just what happened. What's going on on the live stream right now? If you're wondering, if you don't watch the live stream, you're a YouTube guy. Is I'm leveling up all my kits in this game, and right now I'm working on recon. So if you tune into the live stream in the next few nights, you're gonna see some uh, some sniper gameplay. If you're into that, I don't mind talking about the gameplay much. I mean, I, I pretty much I pretty much covered it. I feel like uh, this is the setup. It's kind of weird. I sort of make it work, and that's about all there is to say about it. Uh, you know, you can see here me spraying down guys at close range with a six times scope and a bipod and a suppressor. I'm really lucky there on one of them hitting him in the head. He really should have killed me, and he was mad. So I said, "Luck your heart." I'm mad enough to admit when when luck saves my ass. But what I won't do is claim luck saved somebody else's ass unless I play perfectly. Uh, I got to do a video. I mean, I, I sort of touched on it in my in, in engage the awesome one, which was ill fated fucking pack white man. I think it's ridiculous. Uh, I need to make a video or a text post or something about about what makes a scrub. My thinking on this is basically informed by a book called uh, Playing to Win, though, which I think is actually available online. So, um, so that would probably, you know, <laughs> be adequately, be better materials than, than me, even. Um, I think that's the last M1683 unlock I just got there. I'm on an 8 kill streak right now. Um, because, yeah. Because, yeah? Because, yeah, I. I killed eight people, so pretty much eight kills through. You see, I had to pick up. A, I ran out of bullets, and I had to pick up another M16 there. I actually, uh, yeah, basically, I, I don't think I killed anybody with that, but I cut out the time I was running around with that because that's not the gun we're talking about. If I run out of bullets and I have to pick up a different gun or something, uh, I won't include that in these videos because because we're trying to focus on one gun. In this case, just focus on fucking random commentary as I spray dudes in the back. You can see here my team loses pretty badly by about a hundred tickets. I I mean I kept some objectives. I left him. I left a few of those caps in the footage. Some of them I cut out. I, I was trying to win here, guys. It wasn't just going for kills with this gun. Unfortunately, my team couldn't quite pull through at all, even remotely, and we lost by a wide margin. What kind of sad? Kill us a 16. Uh, this gun is not very potent with the suppressor on it. I really don't like the M16 with the suppressor. I would not recommend that as a general rule of thumb. I find it takes too long to kill people. Um, I don't, I don't really like, I like the suppressor on some assault rifles, not the M16. It's okay on the M416, the AEK, I just, I don't like it on the M16. Anyway, we lost, I went 18-9, 2.0, KDR, second on my team. And, uh, and I feel like this was a, this was an epic success, considering the, the weird fucking, uh, gun I was using. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, next video is gonna be the AK-74M. I don't know. This commentary didn't go down so well. Maybe it's all in my mind. Anyway, until next time, Triple T Cat, waiting for this video to end, and saying, out.